Hi there and welcome to another short tutorial from me, Mike Thomas, the Excel Trainer. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Excel as a calculator without entering a single formula. This tutorial covers Excel 2011 for the Mac and the Windows version is a little different so I've covered that in a separate tutorial. Now imagine that you're presenting your weekly sales data in your weekly sales meeting and one of your colleagues asks what was the total revenue? Although you could enter a formula, you're not actually that confident with Excel and you don't want to show yourself up in the meeting. But as you highlight the revenue figures, if you look at the bottom of the screen in the status bar, you'll notice that we've got the total. I'll do the same thing with the number of attendees so that we can see how many people have actually been trained this week. Suppose I want to know how many people have attended Excel courses. Instead of applying a filter, what I could do is hold down the command key as I select the cells with the numbers in. The command key allows me to select multiple non-consecutive cells and you can see that it's giving me the total at the bottom in the status bar. I'm not limited to the sum either. Using the drop-down on the status bar, I can change it to the average or change it to the count, the number of selected cells in this case. I've also got minimum and maximum. Let me put it back to the sum, which is the default. So there we go. How to use Excel as a calculator without entering a single formula. Thanks for watching. Hope you found that useful and if you'd like to learn more about Excel, please check out my free training at theexceltrainer.co.uk.